Hey guys, it's Pierre, the Fish Beast. Welcome back. In today's video, I'd like to show you my low-tech planted shrimp aquarium. It's a 40-gallon breeder tank, and it's got a single air-driven sponge filter for filtration. The temperature is set at a steady 78 degrees. And in it, I have crystal red shrimp and blue dream slash a blue velvet shrimp that I actually won from Lucas Bretts. Anyway, these shrimp are breeding. I'm not doing anything special to encourage them to breed more rapidly. As you can see, their numbers are, I would say, modest. You know, it's a self-sustaining colony, but they're not exploding in number uh, as some other shrimp keepers videos uh, would show you that they can. The reason is I don't really do a ton of maintenance on this tank. I like to just leave it alone and let it run as natural as possible. That includes water changes. Uh, I don't do a ton of water changes, uh, perhaps once a month, if that. Um, I do plan to take this tank down at some point in the near future and maybe set up dedicated tanks for the Crystal Reds at a little bit lower uh, temperature so that they breed faster and also the blue velvets which are actually uh, Neocaridina davidi here's some feeding activity I dropped a couple of pellets in there and these are actually your fish stuff shrimp supreme that's what I feed them it has montmorillonite clay in it which I guess helps the shrimp uh, build strong exoskeletons and helps them with molting. And as I've mentioned, this aquarium is low tech, meaning I don't use injected CO2. Um, I just basically let the plants just do their thing. I have had to trim them and prune them several times over the last year or so that the tank has been up. Oh, there are some leaves that have some damage or some holes in them. I'm not exactly sure why that is. It could be because of the shrimp that I keep in here that eat them. I'm not 100% sure. Or there could be some sort of other problem or deficiency that I'm not aware of. But most of the plants look pretty good. I've been able to achieve pretty good growth in this aquarium without the use of CO2 using Aquarium Co-op's Easy Green all-in-one fertilizer. This is great stuff. I believe I ordered this from Amazon at one point. I do need to get some more. I just use two pumps per week. Um, and it works really well. I've got a bunch of plants in here that I have unfortunately forgotten the names of. Uh, some of them, if you know, please leave a comment below got Amazon sword back there I do have a bunch of duckweed up here which I thin out every so often when they get too uh, spread out over the surface I've got Susvasar tang, which again I got from aquarium co-op I got a tiny amount of this stuff a year and a half ago when I was at their store and I have it in most of my tanks it's a great nitrate sink just grab a bunch and pull it out once once uh, you know, they, they grow too much for your taste. I've got Mopani driftwood back there and some dragonstone. Now, as you can see, I've got a bunch of snail eggs on this, uh, on this piece of driftwood. I do have uh, or I had rather snails in here. I think I only have one left. This guy, but they're harmless but ugly. I also have, probably because of my feeding regimen or lack of maintenance on this tank, I have a bunch of seed shrimp here, ostracods. I've got a bunch of freshwater limpets and of course your ubiquitous pond snail. I also have some shrimp rocks in here, which are Montmorillonite clay. In the substrate, I have a colony of black worms, actually. If you can see, one of them has its little head sticking out there. 
and these guys help to decompose organic matter further, allowing the other organisms in the soil to break down nitrate in the denitrification process. Here are the shrimp feeding. I haven't been culling them or anything. It's a self-sustaining colony for both of these species. Um, the blues do tend to lose their blue, deep blue coloration if you don't cull them regularly. They will want to revert back to their original kind of brownish color if you don't focus breed them. So I think I'll do that at some point in the near future. Maybe get get serious with it using some RODI water and salty shrimp to replicate ideal conditions, do some culling. But they are self-sustaining. I'm very happy with this aquarium. Uh, they are really fun to watch doing their thing. Dwarf shrimp are awesome. They're very peaceful. They're very active and they have very little bio load, actually. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you know what's good for you, you're going to get some easy green fertilizer from Aquarium Co-op. See you next time. Thank you.